Good morning, dear students. In the previous class, we have discussed about the eight standards, second language, English. So, see the Raman. So, see the Raman. He was apart as a deputy of the gentle. He was not happy. Because he wanted to become a scientist. That was the ambition of Mr. C.P. Raman. When he was appointed as a deputy of the gentle, he felt fish out of the water. He waited for them. He had to go to become a scientist and he was waiting for the opportunity. He was waiting for the opportunity. So, he was, he was working as a deputy according to the girls, he was mixed with the scientists and that he needed to be interested in science. Science was the more interested subject for the Sicilian Ryan. He was, he was very much like a subject. So, one day he was returning home from the office. By the time he looked a barrel outside a building, the Indian Association of Scientists immediately he jumped off from the same moment and then he went to the building and he went to the and he met the scientists who were gathered in that building. And also he was attended the exhibition which was on modern scientific tools. So these are all the things shows so, that what type of interest Sir C. P. Raman had on science. So later he was in 1911. 1911 he was promoted as a special appointment for the telegraph and post in Calcutta. So at the same time he got the second offer that Calcutta University of Harvard for the professorship of physics. So immediately Sir C. V. Raman designed the highly paid course of special account in Bengal and he accepted the professorship of physics at Calcutta University. This is also another one instance what type of interest he had in science. He worked at the Calcutta University for 15 years as a so then uh, he became a director of the Indian Institute of Science at Bangalore. So then he was set up 1948. He set up 1948. He set up Raman Research Institute. Then he resigned the post of director of Indian Institute of Science at Bangalore. Then he became a director of Raman Research Institute. Then he conducted so many research works and experiments in the Raman Research Institute until his death. So, on the other one, Raman, then, how, how, what type of interest are? How do you say Raman had a great interest in science? How we call, for, what he did for the sake of science? What Raman did? What did Raman, what did Raman do for the sake of science? So, he designed the early papers of social account in Delta, then he accepted the professorship at Kolkata University. So, that shows what type of interest he had in science. He would forget food and rest while at work. So many times his wife remembered him. The coffee or the breakfast is getting cold. So, that type of interest he had in science. So, another one important. Why he was quiet for a hero in the Why? Why he was he was a voyage in the hero? When he was traveling to the when he was traveling to the Mediterranean Sea, he was surprised by seeing the, the wonderful view of the Mediterranean Sea. Then he, he started to think why the Mediterranean Sea is completely blue. Then this led to the this led to the research of the discovery of the life scattering. The he proposed the theory of life scattering. It became the life scattering's great report of under the Raman subject and he got the Nobel Prize for this in 1930. For this achievement, he got the Nobel Prize in the year 1930. Okay, I'll start from point in the last class. I also have given some moment in the previous class. I hope you have completed the homework and also you understood the lesson. Okay.
shall be continuing the same. Yes, come to the page number twenty. Come to the page number twenty. Paragraph number seven. Rama was a kind man. He helped people when they were in difficulty. When he was working as a deputy accountant general, a lady went to him with some brandy, one hundred rupees notes, hundred rupee notes. Any other person could have would have found the lady of the day, but Rama took pity on the lady and examined the notes himself and allowed the lady to extend the one notes for new ones. Once after Rama himself stood, a candidate was not given admission as he did not do well in his test. When his traveling allowance was paid, the candidate found that he had received more. He turned to the office to pay back the excess amount. When Rama came to know of this, he liked the candidate's honesty and admitted him to the institute. The candidate was not able to figure out why he was admitted. When he had not done well in his test, it seems Rama told the candidate, "I am admitted to the institute because of your character. You are a man, very good at this, but I can't teach you." During this entire time, Rama had seen to a number of farmers and girls in 1930. He was highly liked in George Floyd and became so before that he was a B.S.C. Rama, and he was awarded. Now he is going to be George Floyd, and then he became a first civil lawyer. A number of universities honored him with doctorates. He was a member of many international scientific organizations. In 1954, the government of India awarded him with the Ratna. In 1957, the Soviet Union honored him by awarding the International Lenin Prize. Now he is going to be number twenty-one in the Olympics at the age of eighty-two. Yes, in his death, India lost one of her great sons and the world a great scientist. Okay, dear students, the universe of the day, don't be nice. Then I will write some questions on the blackboard. Try to find the answer. Why do I mean? Yes, I am feeling. For the questions which are on the blackboard, later I will give you the. Meanings of the words. Okay, so question number one. How do you say?
Hey means or simple, example means, step means, or the key. You can put the notes or the key. You can really record the key. Okay. So, now did you get the answer for the questions? Did you get the answer? How do you say the answer for the kind of man? Yes, there are two instances. There are two instances are there in the textbook. How do you say the key means from the hymn? When did you get the moment of all hymn? What does it mean? When did you say the key means? Did you get the answer for these lessons? Yes? Okay, let's go through here to the lesson, then we will get the answer. Okay, so Rama was a kind man, no doubt about it. Sir, see me, Rama was a kind man, kind hearted man. Kind man means kind hearted man, or he was a merciful man. He was showing mercy to others. He was showing mercy to others. Poor people are also a world people. So he was a kind man. So such a kind man he was. So such a kind man he was. He helped people when they were in difficulty. Those who are facing the difficulties, they are coming to such a Raman and they are having the difficulties, telling the problems with the such a Raman and he was solving their problems. He was solving the problems and the difficulties. So when Sir Sri Raman in the beginning he was working as a deputy accountant general. Sir Sri Raman was working as a deputy accountant general. Do you know when did Sir Sri Raman appoint as a deputy accountant general? Yes? Yes, Sir Sri Raman was appointed as a deputy accountant general on 19 March. Later on, he was promoted as a special appointment general on 1911. On 1911. So, Sir C. V. Raman, when he was working as a deputy appointment general, a villager came to him. One day, when Sir C. V. Raman, at that time, Sir C. V. Raman was a villager came to his office at the time when Sir C. V. Raman was working as a deputy accountant general. He came with he came with some badly burnt and rubbish note. A villager came with badly burnt and rubbish note. He had a badly burnt and rubbish note with him. By holding the badly burnt and rubbish note, he came to his office. He came to the office. So, uh, any other persons perhaps would have turned the villager away. He came to the office to exchange the badly bought and rubbish notes with the new ones. He came to the, he came to the office to exchange the badly bought and rubbish notes with the new ones. If anybody in the place has seen your place, if you did, if we were in the place, in the place of Sassimiraman, we would, we would send him higher to the office. We would 
sent him away from the office. Any other person perhaps would have turned the village and away. But Raman was not like. Raman was not like. So he showed pity on the villager. He showed pity on the villager and he asked him why the notes are burnt. The villager gave the reason. So then he examined. Okay, so you examine means he checked. He checked the notes. On uh, each of the notes. Examine means he checked the notes himself. And then he understood the difficulty of that villager. Then he how to extend the bond and the business of the villager. He took the bond and the business of the villager and he gave a new notes to the new business of the villager. That shows how serious the villager is. And yeah. this is the one instance. This is the one instance. And the second one instance is once at the Diamond Research Institute, a candidate was not given admission. Once there was an examination, the entrance examination was conducted by the Diamond Research Institute, just only to appoint the researchers. To appoint the researchers, uh, entrance examination was conducted in the Diamond Research Institute. So, a candidate was not given admission as as he did not do any tests, a candidate who was participating in the examination only those who get get passed in the examination, the entrance examination, they may work, they may, they might work as a research scholars, researchers or research scholars in the Raman Research Institute. Those who are paid, they are not admitted to the Raman Research Institute. So in that time, a candidate was not given. So one of the candidates was not given the admissions to the candidate because he did not do well in his test. He did not do. He did not do well in his entrance examination. That's why he became paid in the entrance examination. So admissions admission was not given to the candidate. He did not do well in the entrance examination. So he failed in the entrance examination. That's why his uh, uh, research institute research institute was was not given admission to that candidate. But that research institute in the beginning amounts to those who are appeared in the entrance examinations uh, traveling away to be paid. Traveling away to be paid. So uh, the candidate was paid and then he took a traveling away. When his traveling arrangements was paid, the candidate he came to a home. Then he looked the traveling arrangements. So when his traveling arrangements was paid, the candidate found that he had received more. So traveling arrangements means what we call it as the candidate uh, come to attend examination from his home to the uh, examination entrance examination center. So, uh, in the distance, uh, the total distance, and he, uh, he traveled in the bus, bus train. The bus train will be given by the research institute. So, uh, when he found that uh, the, his traveling allowance was 20 rupees, but he received it 50 rupees. The AK not received, uh, research institute staff gave it 50 rupees to candidate. Then he realized, I have received additional. Excess traveling allowance. If we receive the additional, what, what, what we will do? We just keep that amount in our pocket. But that candidate, he returned to the office. He came back to the office again. He came back to the, back to the office again and he is told, I have received, I have received additional. Traveling allowance. That's why I don't want it. Take the original traveling allowance. He returned to the office to pay back the excess amount. This matter went to Brahman.
this matter went to Raman. Raman was very much impressed by the honesty of that family. So then he admitted into the research institute. Raman was admitted the candidate to research institute. The candidate was not able to make out why he was admitted. The candidate was not able to make out why he could understand. I was staying in the examination, but why the Raman research institute was admitting me? He couldn't understand it, but Sir Sri Raman admitted to me. He gave admission to the candidate in his research institute. So then he had not done well in his test. He had he had failed in the entrance examination, but even he even he had failed failed in the entrance examination. He got the admission in the research institute. He couldn't understand why how he got the why he got the admission. So later, it seems Raman told the candidate. Then Raman told the candidate, "I have admitted you to the research institute because of your honesty and character. I have, I have given admission to you." Raman told to the candidate, "I have given admission to you because in this research institute because of your character. So you are not good at." Physics, but I can teach you. But I cannot teach you character. That's why I am very much interested in your character. That's why I have given admission for you. So this is the another one instance that proves Sir C. V. Raman was a kind man. These are the two instances of the example that proves Sir C. V. Raman was a kind man. Okay, so. During his lifetime, Raman received a number of honors and medals. Yes, he had received number of medals, number of honors in his lifetime. During his lifetime, Raman received a number of honors and medals. In 1929, he was knighted by King George V and became Sir Sir Raman. In 1929, he was knighted by King George V and he became Sir. Sri Raman in 1929. In 1929, King George, King George Magnet, he got, he got our, so he got our, so later he became. Later, he became Sir Sri Ram. Later, he became Sir Sri Ram. So, and also many universities honor many universities honor many.